Coral Reporters, welcome back to my channel. Wendy Williams' trash-ass ex-husband, Kelvin Hunter, thinks his opinion is worth something. Granted, he has the right opinion. He's right, he's telling the truth, I cannot argue with him, but the fact that this man who destroyed her life, her legacy, and her career is out here advocating for her as if he has nothing to do with her downfall is just incredible to me. Seriously, men have nothing if not audacity. So as I'm, I believe you know, uh, the Wendy Williams show ran its final episode last week. They did not invite Wendy to show up, even to wave and see the show off after 14 years of being on the air. They had nothing. And I'm gonna do another video on this later on, by the way, but they also just threw out everything in the set, including the famous purple chair, not even putting it in like a museum or, you know, anything like that. They just treated it like the show was never worth anything even though it was a pop culture staple you know like you still see and hear Wendy clips circulating going viral on TikTok every single day because she had so many shareable funny moments so um, you know a lot of people are feeling very disrespected on Wendy's behalf for the way that she's been treated uh, as they wrap up her show and so Calvin Hunter who kicked off her downfall with his decade-long affair ultimately fathering a child outside of his ma uh, marriage and leaving Wendy for his mistress, he's saying, listen, I feel like it is a travesty on the part of Deb Mar Mercury to have such an unceremonious departure without Wendy being involved. It's the first time in the history of talk shows for this to be done, especially for a show that has been on for more than 10 years. There's absolutely no reason why a bigger celebration that involved Wendy couldn't happen. Again, he's 1000% right, but because I solidly believe that he's the reason that Wendy's in the position that she's in right now, I don't wanna hear it from him. I wanna hear it from everybody but him. I wanna hear Ellen speaking up about this. I wanna hear Oprah speaking up about this. I wanna hear Andy Cohen, Michael Rapaport, Sherry Shepard, who's over there, you know, uh, what do you call it, LARPing as Wendy and about to have her own show and everything, talking about it, speaking up and standing up for Wendy Williams. But these are not the people who are doing it and I wonder why that is. Um, so, you know, listen, some of you might say, Wendy knew that Cal Kelvin was having these affairs and blah, 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 and that is true. But that's not the only gripe that I have with him. It's the fact that while Wendy was on the air and everything, he isolated her from a lot of her friendships. And she opened up about this after the divorce. She would welcome back people on the show that she was on the outs with for years. Remember Charlemagne the God? Um, and she said, pretty much plainly on the show that the reason why she had to cut off Charlemagne was because of her husband. There were so many other people like that who could have been so instrumental to Wendy's career that she had to cut ties with because of Calvin Hunter, you know, according to herself and according to other people behind the scenes as well. So it's just amazing to me that this man who did all that stuff to really kind of like over um, impose her, himself in her business life, in her career and stuff, and then just send her on like a, a a downward spiral emotionally with all of his affairs and lying and having that child out of you know their marriage and whatnot that is a lot you know I feel like a lot of people downplay and underestimate the amount of trauma that comes with what it is that Kelvin did to Wendy what he did to her was incredibly dirty traumatizing shocking earth-shattering, groundbreaking, and horrific. And I believe that that's why she went on the spiral and she's no longer there to keep her show going. But listen, on the flip side, I do believe that now that all of this is out of the way, we will see Wendy again. Do I think that she's gonna be doing another talk show? No, but I've always said since, uh, you know, 2021 that I believe that she's going to be doing a podcast. I feel like that is so much more up her alley. Podcasts are still really big right now. And, you know, someone like Wendy, she could break in in no time. And she did get her start in the radio world. So this very much could still happen for her. And I really want to hear her speak on the record about how she feels about the way Sherry has handled all of this in particular. I know that Wendy spoke up a little bit and then what Sherry did was basically say, oh, she's crazy. She's got mental health issues. So good luck with that. And then she just kept on kind of taking over Wendy's show, which I didn't feel like was fair. And I felt like it was a little gross the way that she threw uh, Wendy's medical problems out there as a way to discredit her as well. But um, I digress. 
I'm also curious to know whether you guys feel as though Sherry's show is going to be successful. I know people really loved her at first as a guest host on Wendy Williams show, but then when it kind of like dragged on when people realized that Wendy was no longer coming back, I don't know if people still liked it. And then, you know, with the beef and the way that Sherry did not really advocate for Wendy to be respected towards the end, I'm not sure. I feel like people will not really watch it out of spite. I do not see it lasting. I remember Wendy tried to get help uh, Jerry O'Connell have a show and everything, and that did not even last past pilot season. Like, it was only a couple of episodes. It did not last. So I would not be surprised if the Sherry show, based on the way that she's been treating Wendy right now, flopped as well. I'm not wishing for it. I'm just saying that I would not be surprised if it flopped. And I would not be surprised if Wendy came back with a podcast and she was bigger than ever. Well, not ever. She's not going to be bigger than, you know, prime, prime, prime era of the Wendy Williams show. But I do think that she could very much be a hit. She could even join TikTok, you guys, and really just keep us updated on the go. Honestly, I know she has her problematic moments, but Wendy Williams is an undeniable force in the pop culture game, you know, and I have to say that I'm rooting for her. I really am, and I want to see her come back. Let me know what you think about all of this, you guys, the way she's been treated from the show. Um, other talk show hosts not really advocating for her. Sherry Shepard kind of just going business as usual. Don't forget, she's also fighting financial abuse over at that bank, Wells Fargo or whatever that she banks at. They just like um, all of a sudden one day like shut off her access to her own accounts, claiming that she can't handle them and that she's like too mentally ill or whatever, like with no due process at all. That's another really frightening thing happening to her and then of course the trauma of Kelvin Hunter living a double life let me know all of your thoughts you guys in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat that's all for now thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time